everyone, my name is Mary Atwood and welcome back to this training on how to run profitable Facebook ads in 2022. All right, and in this training, in this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to run WhatsApp ads from Facebook to your WhatsApp Messenger. All right, so you are probably here because you are a business person who wants to get more visibility for your business you want to get more orders you want to get more leads you want to you want people to take actions that are important to your business either you want to you know you probably sell um you probably sell stuff you sell physical products or you sell digital products or you may also sell um you you probably want people to attend your training or whatever it is that you want to do, but essentially you want people to be more people to be able to locate you on Facebook, all right? And I'm going to be showing you how to run Facebook ads to your WhatsApp, especially so if you don't have a website. So this tutorial, if you're watching on YouTube, is um is a is is a is a is a smaller chunk of an ongoing training that's I have compiled into an online course and if you'd like to get access to that training kindly find the link in the description of this of this video all right if you're watching on youtube find the link of, um the link to um that training so that you'll be able to make a purchase and then get access to the larger training course where you're going to be learning all the um the you know the you're going to be getting access to trainings where I've been showing my students how to run profitable ads the way I've actually been doing for myself and um, for a number of clients now. All right. So, um, because you really may not understand the trend, you know, some terms that I'm going to be using may actually sound strange to you. So, I want you to be able to follow through. All right. But then, just, um, follow me as i show you how to actually do this all right so if you're using if you're if you're a smartphone user kindly note that you can do this as well you can do this conveniently on your smartphone all you just need to do is to go on google and and type out go on google and type out um facebook business.com and then you'll be able to create your ad account and locate this, you'll be able to create your Facebook business account or your Facebook business manager and then locate um, this interface, all right? So the first thing you need to do after you've created your ad account, you've created your, um, your business manager, you've created your ad account, and you've also added your Facebook page, right, to your ad account, is to locate your, and also you funded your account, because we, of course, before you start to run ads, you need to fund your other account, right? So that's what I'm saying that if you're new to this training, it might be sounding strange to you, all of the things I'm going to be saying. So I'd really advise that you check the description below and then, you know, get the full course. So the, the first thing you need to do is to come to all tools. So we are going to our ads manager right now, right? So you go to all tools and then from all tools, you go to ads manager, all right? So it's from ads manager that we're going to be creating our ads. So um, there are two things that, sorry, there are two ways that we're going to be creating this, um, this ad today, right? We're going to be using two strategies, all right? And um, either of them would actually do, but then one you might actually prefer to do one or the other. Um, usually one is more expensive than the other, all right? So let's go into it. So the first thing you need to do when you've come to your, ads manager is to of course click on the create button but in this case i had already started this campaign right so i'll just come here and edit it so the the um the campaign objective i choose right the first campaign objective i choose for this um to run this my adverts is the messages objective and that's what you want to select as well we are going to be using two objectives both of which are going to be pointing to um, to creating WhatsApp ads, right? So the first objective we are going to be using is the messages objective. So the um, 
remember I told you about the three levels of an ad campaign, a Facebook ads campaign, which is the campaign level, the access level, and the ad level. So here on the campaign level is where you're also going to be. You can also, uh -huh, here you can also choose your objective from here, which is, which we've already selected as the messages objective. So I'll just go on ahead and name my campaign, right? So new messages campaign for relationship, doctor. That is, that is the name of my campaign. So you can go on ahead to name yours, anything you feel like naming, but just for identity purposes, ensure that you name it something that you remember, especially when you start to run many of these ads, all right? Then ensure that you select the category. If you're, if you're running an advert for a special category, let's say you're running a credit campaign or um, an advert for employment, housing, and all right but then if your advert or if your business wasn't falling to any of these categories you can just leave it alone and then this campaign details this buying um type just leave it alone and then um if you've already chosen your objective you'd be seeing this here but let's say you want to maybe ch um, change your objective you can go ahead and do that then this um e or b test just leave all of this alone and then click on next so we are going to our um the ad set level where we are now going to be choosing, where we are supposed to be choosing um, or we are supposed to be entering our audience details. But then you would now see the reason why this objective is quite complicated and why you might want to maybe not use it. But you know, the reason why you want to, um, the difference between this objective and the other one that we're going to be using um, is, is just in how Facebook is going to be you know, um, getting results for you, all right? So while this has been designed exactly to get you the results you want, like this is, this is, this is the ad that is actually designed for um, WhatsApp, you know, um, WhatsApp ads. Like this is the main objective that you would use when you want to run WhatsApp campaigns, you know? And when you use this, Facebook is gonna be charging you based on you know, the actions that people take, like the clicks that they take to, you know, contribute to your WhatsApp is going to be charging you for that. The other one is going to be like, um, like, how do I, like an improvised way of actually doing it, but then it's still going to be getting you the results. So another thing with this one, with this objective is that it might be more expensive than the other one, right? So let's just go on ahead. And then um, I'm going to be naming this ad set as well, right? So new messages ad set for relationship. So which is the um, which is the example we have been using all this well. Then set up set up your message ad and where you want people to message you. So this is what we are going to be doing now. Let's see what this is. Okay. So choose the type of ad you want to run. Ads that click to message starts new. Conversation sponsored messages re engage as existing objectives. So, here you can actually select how you want, um, how you want your message to look. But let's leave this alone and let's come to this list. And then we will now select where we want people to land to. So where do we want people to chat us on? Is it on Messenger or on WhatsApp? Of course, it's WhatsApp we want. So, we'll just unclick this one and then we will go on ahead. You know, with this objective, you can actually get people to message you on Messenger on Instagram, on WhatsApp, you know, um, the platforms where Facebook actually does its, um, where, you know, that is Facebook's um, sub companies where you can actually run adverts on, all right? So this one says to help you get the best results, people without WhatsApp will be sent to a suitable alternative. Just leave this alone and then come to where we would need to now select our Facebook page, all right? So if you've already selected your, now, before you actually um, start to run your WhatsApp campaign, you have to ensure that your Facebook page has um, your WhatsApp number, right? So the, the, the WhatsApp account that you want people to actually contact you on, you have to ensure that your Facebook page has that WhatsApp number, right? When you were setting up your, your Facebook page, I, I did show you how to add your WhatsApp number so that people can contact you. And it is for this reason like when you want to start to run whatsapp ads because um if, if your whatsapp doesn't have 
sorry, if your Facebook page doesn't have the WhatsApp number that you actually want to use, you know, to, to, to run these ads, you may actually have issues here. So you have to ensure that you get a Facebook page with the correct WhatsApp number where you want people to be contacting you on, all right? So here you'd have to select the page. So in this instance, the page that I want to use is this is my page called Smart Skills Hub. And already I have already added the WhatsApp number. So this is it. If I had not added this WhatsApp number, I'd have been getting an error message with Facebook asking me to go back and select an account or a Facebook page that has a WhatsApp number. All right. Now, the problem with this objective is that we would not be able to target. All right. We won't be able to target. We won't be able to enter detailed targets. We would only be able to use custom audience. And probably we don't already have custom audiences created. Okay. Okay, just hold on for me. I need to check something. Okay, it seems to me that there's been a change. There's been a change because initially you won't be able to do detailed targeting. You won't actually be able to do detailed targeting with this objective, but it seems to me that it's been added recently. So let's just go on in these because I wanted to show you a trick you could actually use to bypass that. But let's just go on. Let's just go on. So um, now, so our budget, you know, here you're not going to enter your daily budget. Like what, what do you want? What amount do you want Facebook to, to spend on your ad for each day? All right. So you can maybe set it to 1,000. Um, you can maybe start, you, know, you can actually do 500. You can do 1,000. You can do 2,000 as the case may be. Or you can, you know, do the dollar equivalent if your dollar account, sorry, if your Facebook account is in dollars, you know, you can, and now set it to maybe one dollar, two dollar, and as the case may be. So um, let's say we are going to be setting our budget to one thousand, one thousand per day. You know, you know, with Facebook ads, the more you spend, the better results you're likely to get. So we set our budget. Then the next thing we need to do is to now um schedule our ad. Now usually, you know, I I told you, I did advise you that um you should always um you should always set your campaign like set your campaign to run from 4 a.m 4 a.m each day all right so let's say we um we actually we started setting up our campaign at um let's say around four in the evening what you want to do is to ensure that you schedule your campaign to start by 4 a.m in the morning because this would allow Facebook to actually spend your ad, your, your budget more judiciously. And this has to do with the time with which people actually come on Facebook. The time when people start to be active on Facebook is from that time of the day, from that 4 a.m. So you want to ensure that people, a lot more people see your ad. And this is going to help Facebook to, you know, actually help you spend your ad, um, your, 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 your budget more judicious because when more people are able to take actions on your ad facebook will charge you less all right so that is that about the scheduling then when it comes to audience <clears throat> excuse me remember we talked about um we talked a whole lot about audience research and how to get to your ideal audience using facebook ads so um you, you probably don't have a custom audience yet, so you want to use detailed targets in this case. All right, now let's go to locations. Now, remember I told you that you should always ensure to choose people living in this location and not people living in or in this location because, because when you choose the first option, which is people living in or recently in this location, the people you're targeting in a particular location may not be there anymore 
and when you choose people living in or in or um people living in people living in or recently in this location the person whom you're targeting in that location may have moved all right so if you want to get more um insight into what that means please get my online course which is called sell out with facebook ads and if you're already on the training you i believe already understand what i mean all right now if you want to now target if you want to do your targeting you could probably decide to target people within your vicinity it's actually possible to do that with facebook ads so you can target people within a specific radius of your business but if you want to target the whole country let's say your audience is very broad and then you want to target the whole country you can actually do that which in this case is nigeria all right you can target specifically to abuja you can target specifically to port harcourt to kaduna and you know wherever your um audience may actually be now if you're listening to this train from outside the country you know um you know you can also suit this or you can align this to actually you know suit your location all right now when it now comes to age selecting the age just ensure that you select the age bracket that you know um is suited to your business all right so if your if the people for your business are within the ages of 18 to 65 and above you can go ahead and leave this like that but usually you want to edit edit this all right so you can maybe choose so let's say the age um brackets for our business is um 25 to we can leave it to 65 plus because you know a lot of people on facebook actually like to set their they don't like to reveal their real ages some of them might even set um you know they might set beyond 65 so let's just leave it at this okay let's just leave it at this and then our gender targeting we can now choose you know the gender that we want to target do we want to target men only women only or all gender so let's say for our business we are targeting all gender all right so detail targeting is actually here surprisingly usually when when you select the messages objective facebook does not allow you to actually um to actually do detail targeting but thankfully it's here now so let's just go on ahead to enter our our targeting all right so you can do interest targeting you can do um you can target people by their interests you can target people by their behavior you know and you know demographics and all that so if you've already done your audience research and you've already um, come up with you know the specific audience that you want to target you just go on ahead and add it here all right so remember how we did our audience targeting and you know i told you about detailed targeting and broad targeting so let's say we want to use broad targeting in this instance what i told you that detailed targeting sorry i i told you that specific targeting is always much better than broad targeting so let's just go on ahead to use broad targeting in this case because right now i don't um i can't seem to remember the audiences i had actually researched you know using the um facebook business insight tool so i'll just go on ahead to to use keywords which is you know which is what broad targeting is really all about so i'll just go ahead to you know enter my audience you know the keywords that are actually pointing to the, the kind of people that are important to my business all right so marriage you know you know this is assumed is assumed that my business is all about relationships like i'm a relationship um coach right I'm a relationship coach and I want to sell an online course to people, you know, who are interested in relationships, right? So who are going to be my target audience? They are going to be people who have liked pages that are related to marriages, people who have liked pages related to dating, people who have liked pages or, or have indicated interest in Facebook relating to um marriage dating relationship sex and the likes all right so marriage dating blind dating so once you start to type the keywords you start to see different interests that are also important to your business and facebook actually allows you to um it gives you suggestions all right so once you type one keyword and you click on these suggestions you will be able to 
you know, get different suggestions from Facebook that are also related to your audience. So that is how to do targeting. But then when it comes to broad target, when it comes to specific targeting, you are trying to, you know, target people who are very, 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 very interested in your in your in your business, all right? So you're targeting them to their interest, like the books they like to read, the um the the websites they like to visit, the um influencers they follow and all that. You've already searched this out using Google and then you've also confirmed from Facebook that these audiences are also available for targeting on its platform, right? But then with broad targeting, you'll be able to use keywords to actually target your audience. Then if you now want to um, exclude some certain kind of people, you can also go, go on ahead and do that, or you want to narrow your audience. So let's say for instance, that you want to exclude people who uh, maybe, um, who, who actually like all of these things, but fall within an age bracket. So let's say for instance, we want to exclude people who, you know, exhibit some certain behavior, like let's say people who use 2G phones, right? People who, because probably we want to sell something. We want to sell a product and we don't want people who use this kind of phones to see our advert because they probably won't be able to afford it or they won't be able to buy from us. So we can go to, I want to type, so this is actually a behavioral targeting kind of, you know, so when we type 2G phone, we'll be able to see Facebook assets network type 2g we can also remove people who are using feature phones that is small phones we don't want them to be we don't want them to, to see our advert because they won't be able to afford or they won't be able to take the actions that we want them to take all right so feature phones so you can see here facebook access feature phones we don't want this kind of people so we are excluding them from uh Advert, all right. So we'll now go on ahead to now um, select languages. So here we have um, select a language. Of course, we want to select English. So all, all right. Then we can actually save this our audience, or we can leave it like that. Then when it comes to placement, I always told you to choose manual placement because this will give you control over where people see your adverts and in this case we want people to see our adverts in the um only in the facebook feed except you're running instagram ads as well but in this case we're not running instagram ads we are only doing facebook ads and we want people to be able to see our adverts only in the feed right only in the facebook feed so we will remove every other one that we don't want just ensure that you can check every other one that you don't want so go, on, go on ahead and uncheck and then you know when you're doing your targeting just ensure that you're looking at this audience size all right so you don't want this audience size to be too large and you also don't want it to be too small so here we're having over nine million um nine million audience size which is actually too large so if you are actually doing you just ensure that you keep it within you know um a sizable amount like maybe from one million to four million is actually so large anyways but then basically when you start to select your audience you um you should actually know the audience size that would be better for you all right depending on your kind of business depending on the kind of business you actually do but just ensure that this is not too large then the next thing you now want to do so facebook is going to be telling you how many conversations you might actually get you know, from people in the, you might get 10 conversations in a day because this is actually dependent on your budget. So if you if you increase your budget, you would actually see that these conversation numbers would actually increase, all right? So you can actually get more than this actually, but this is just an estimated number, um, which is actually cut on your budget, all right? So if you increase your budget, you might actually get more than this. And also you might get more than this, um, depending on the kind of, product you're selling and you know how much you've been able to optimize your ads all right so if people are taking actions if people are taking um if people are showing more interest in your business you can actually get way more conversations than this to your whatsapp every day so the next thing you want to do is now click on next 
which will take us to our ad level. Where is where we will now get to enter our um our our WhatsApp link. All right. So if I've not said this before now, you need you need a WhatsApp link. You need a, you need to create a unique WhatsApp link. All right. You need to create a unique WhatsApp link using a platform called WA.link, right? So when you go to WA.link, you'll be able to enter the mobile number that you use on your WhatsApp business and then you know create a unique or customized message that when people click on that link, they will be able to come through to your WhatsApp directly and then you know send you that message. So it's Wadot link, just go to Wadot link and then enter the mobile number you want to use and then uh, you know create the link and then click on um yes enter the customized message you want to use rather and then click on create link and then the link will generate it for you which is now what you're going to be entering in this place all right so in this asset level so here also you need to add you need to name your campaign all right so new messages add campaign for relationship here also you need to select the page that you want to use so you go, go on ahead to select the page. So which in this case, the page I want to use is my page, Smart Sales Hub, right? Which already has the number that I want to use. So here you need to now add your, you'd be directed to add your, um, your, your advert creative, that's the media you want to use. It, it will be a picture, it will be an image, it will be a video, or whatever it is that you want to do. So you'd go on ahead and add that up. So it says, okay, single image or video. Okay, so which is what we're going to be using. So let's go on ahead to. So here we'll now select the media we want to use. All right, we want to select the image that we want to use for this app. So let me see if I have any existing ones here that we're going to be using. So let's say I want to use this one. You can also select the image from your device. So let's say you've already um, created one either from Canva or from probably you, you just want to use an image on the mobile phone, but just ensure that mm -hmm. the image is related to your business, is related to your um whatever it is that you're trying to actually sell. So um I'm going to be doing another video to actually show you ways as you can do, you know, I'm going to be showing you, um, you know, series of ways you can actually create, um, you know, eye-catching and exciting creatives for your advert. So let's say want to use something like this. Just click on next and then you're going to be seeing the different ways that it's going to be showing on your advert. So let's say want to go with this one. Just click on done. This is actually for example purposes, right? So it's going to be showing you, you know, a preview of how it's going to be looking like in different spaces. So um, then you now come here and enter your primary text. This is actually very important, all right? This list is very important because this is where you get to tell people what you want them to do. You're going to be giving them more information about your business and what you actually want them to do you know we talked about um how to actually do this you know we talked about how to write great advert copies you know this is where you now get to you know channel all of that into all right so after you've entered your text you now go on ahead to enter the headline like what do you want people to actually see when they are seeing your ad do you want them to, do you want them to see chat with us this is actually optional. You know, you can actually um change it. You can see something like message us. If you don't want to do chat with us, you can see message us, or you can see contact us or whatever it is you want to use. All right. So as you're adding all of those details, you'll be seeing it here to be adding up here. So you see message us is what is showing here. So all of these are actually optional, but just go on ahead and let's see what's next. Okay, so this 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 um this objective actually does not require you to. I think it doesn't require you to actually add your WhatsApp link. All right, 
call to action, send WhatsApp message. You can also change this. You don't want to, if you don't want to um, use the send WhatsApp message, you can use learn more. You know, this is the button you are going to be clicking, you know, when they want to now come through to you. Then here it is message templates. Message templates. So you can actually create a message template. So see, okay, let's see here. It says, hi, please let us know how we can help you. Questions and responses. I am interested. Can you tell me? So you can actually edit this, right? So yes, when you're using this message objective, you don't need to use that. Um, you don't need to use that customized link from um what does link, all right? But I'm going to be showing you another objective that would require you to actually use that because you don't need to actually add the whatsapp link here because this has already been you know this 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 message objective this messages objective is exactly for you know um whatsapp ads right so you don't have to add that link and all that so you can actually edit this you know change it to the message you want people to send to you like the customized message you want you want to receive from people or you want people to see immediately they click on the ad you can actually edit this to suit your business so let's say for instance when you're selling oil perfumes now you know you can say welcome okay so this one says welcome people to the conversation after they tap on your ad so what do you want people to see what do you want people to you know what message you want to get when you click on your ad so this one says hi please let us know how we can help you, you can go on ahead to change this you know and then you can add the questions that you want people to actually ask you. So frequently asked questions. So just questions for people to tap on. So any of these messages is going to now pop up when people click on your advert, right? I'm interested, can you tell me more? Are you available to chat? Can I learn more about your background? So anyone you don't want, just go on ahead and remove it, all right? Go on ahead and remove anyone you don't want. Okay, I guess you can actually leave all of these questions, but then you can also add a question. So all of these questions, you know, people would be able to click on any of them, you know, to now start a conversation with you. That's what it means. All right, so hi. So um, basically when you click on that advert, this is what the message you're gonna be getting. Hi, please let us know how we can help you, which you can actually edit then the person cannot reply with i am interested can you tell me more or the person can reply with are you available to chat or the person can reply with can i learn more about your background or you know the person can write their own message right so after you're done with you know all of this like you've entered what you want to enter you've probably changed this to suit your own business just go on ahead and click on save and finish all right save and finish and then you're going to be seeing a preview of what is going to be looking like here so when somebody clicks on this thing this is what they are going to be getting a message you know from you and then they'll be able to start a conversation with you that is what it simply means all right so let's see what next okay so this tracking is not important because we are not using the website we are not using a website, so we don't need tracking right here. It is only if we are actually running ads to a website, I'll be needing all those pixels and all those things. Um, and I did talk about that in detail as well, how to install pixels on your seller store. Let's say you, um, you, know, you, you don't have a website and you want to use seller you know, to actually set up your brand. You can install pixels on your, on your seller store and then, you know, do all of this stuff, all right? So after you're done with all of this satisfactorily, just ensure that you you um just ensure that you enter all the information that is important for your business. Just click on publish, and then your advert would now be reviewed. It will it will be Facebook will now review your advert for like um maybe forty eight hours or actually less. Usually my ad gets um gets approved in less than twenty four hours most of the times, all right? So when you click on publish, it's now should we now go back to you know your ads manager and then you would see it that your ad is under review, all right? So after your ad has been approved, 
Remember, I told you that you needed to schedule your order, right? So after it's been approved, you will now see it that it is it is on schedule, you know, for that particular time when you want to go live. All right. So and when that time comes, Facebook will now um start to run your advert for you. All right. So that's all that's about um you know creating a WhatsApp company. Now I'm going to be showing you another objective, but I'm not going to be going through the process of actually um I'm not going to be dwelling too much on it because we've already spent a lot of time here and you know the video is becoming so long. So all you just need to do is to click on create and then the objective we're going to be choosing in this case, you know, we might tell you that um there are two ways you can actually run you know um a WhatsApp campaign and this is the other way I'm going to be showing you. So the other the other objective you want to use is the um the traffic objective, all right? Traffic objective is the other objective you want to use. And yes, this objective is even more cheaper. And this is the one you actually want to use, okay? This is the one you want to use because it is more cheaper. So click on continue. Click on continue and then go to your the first level where you enter your campaign name and all of those things, right? Enter your campaign name and all these things, but, but just leave all of these things alone. They're not necessary, right? Then go to your, to your asset level where we will not be able to, you know, enter our audience and all that. So in this case, don't forget to name your campaign, right? So in this case, um, it will ask you where you want to drive traffic to. So this traffic objective is we use it majorly for, you know, when you want to drive traffic to your website or you basically want to go to, you know, um, land on a place where they get to see, like you're driving people to that place. Like, and if normally in this case, Facebook wants to optimize for link clicks, right? Like they want to charge you for when people click on your link. But we actually want to send messages on WhatsApp, so it's more like we're going to be tricking Facebook in this instance. So just click on WhatsApp, right? You want people to message you on WhatsApp, so you click on WhatsApp and then select the page that you want to run your advert from. So pages are actually very very important to your campaigns, all right? So select the page you want to use. Let's say we are using this page. So just ensure that your page has the phone number of the WhatsApp account that you want to use, all right? So you now go through all of this again. You know, I've already explained all of this. I'm not going to go through it again. So you choose your audience, choose your location, gender, details, I guess, and then ensure to place it, um, put the placement in manual, right? Click on manual and you know, go through all the details and then click on next and go to your um go to your your asset level sorry your ad level where you now get to choose your creative all over again and also your um enter your text and all of that all right but then one, one thing i want to show you here is that it's going to be asking you to enter Okay, let's see. All right, so let's go through it. So you name your campaign, right? Then select the page you want to use. Okay, then single image um, or video right which is what you want to use so you're either using an image or a video then if you want if you want to use carousel you can also click on the carousel is that um is that graphic image that comes you know like there are several images that you actually want to use for people to be able to see what your business is all about so i'm going to be talking shortly about how to create carousels and basically how to create images for your whatsapp camp sorry for your ad campaigns and all that 
add creative. So you get to add your media, add your text, headline, description, and all that. So I'm actually surprised that it's not asking for that link. Usually it's supposed to ask for link, but since it's not asking for the link, you just go on ahead because sometimes Facebook changes its interface, like it changes its platform in, in, a, in a blink of an eye. You won't even know when it did that. So um, this is actually new. So I'm, I'm thinking that some things have changed since the last time I came here. But then you actually want to use this objective most of the time because it is usually more cheaper, right? It's more cheaper than the previous one, even though. Um, Facebook is going to be charging you for link clicks, but it is actually much better that you use this one most of the time, right? So when you're done with all of the things you need to add, you just click on publish and then go on ahead to wait for Facebook to um, approve your ad and then start to run at the schedule time. And then when people start to, you know, send you messages on WhatsApp, just ensure that you engage them in a way that is professional and remember that you also need to set your whatsapp camp your, your whatsapp account to look professional because you don't want people to come to choose your whatsapp and then it's looking all you know unprofessional your 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 your, your dp is looking somehow and all that so just ensure that you also set up your whatsapp in such a way that looks professional you know set your catalogs uh, you know all the things you need to do right you know and ensure that when people land on your WhatsApp, ensure to have them save your contact. This is very, very important because you're going to have to follow them up in case they don't buy at the first instance, right? You're going to have to follow them up with messages on your broadcast list if you have one or on your WhatsApp status, all right? So you want to ensure that you um, get them to save your WhatsApp contact, you know, and then communicate with them in such a way that would lead to closing of sales all right so i think this brings us to the end of this video all right i believe that you've understood so far how to run whatsapp campaigns directly from facebook to your whatsapp all right and it's actually not difficult at all you know we've talked about two objectives you can use you can either use the messages objective or you can use the traffic objective and i did say that one is cheaper than the other which is um, the traffic objective is usually cheaper than the messages objective. But then um, one thing that I always tell my students is that Facebook ads, it's all about testing, right? So you want to test different things. You can test with the first one and also test with the other one and compare which gives you the better results. And that is the one you want to go with, all right? So like I said earlier, you want to sign up to my course so that you will get the full gist of how to run profitable ads you know, that are sure to give you the results that you actually want for your business. You know, we've talked a whole lot. We've talked about how to create, um, you know, how to create a seller e-commerce store for your physical or your, you know, digital products, how to install the Facebook pixel so that you'll be able to track the actions that people are going to be taking on your website. Sorry, on your seller store, you know, we've talked about how to create custom audiences, how to create lookalike audiences so that you'll be able to retarget people, you know, with adverts. We've talked a whole lot on how to do audience research, which is the most important thing, you know, that you need to factor into um, running adverts, right? Talk about audience research, how to you know, target specific group of people on Facebook, like how to target, you know, like the um the follower of a particular influencer on Facebook using Facebook. I have talked a whole lot on all of that, and we talked a lot on on a whole lot of things actually. All right, so I want to advise that you sign up for this course so that you get the full gist on how we what we need to do because this training alone is not going to be able to give you you know, what you need, you know, to actually start running, um, running campaigns that are successful on Facebook. Because if you're going to be, you know, patching things up with this training alone, you might end up cashing Facebook money, you know, and which is actually not good for your business because you want to ensure that any money you spend on your business is going to be bringing you back returns, profitable returns at the end of the day, right? So like I said earlier, the link to that training, the link to assess that training, which is actually a video course, is available in the description of this video. So just go on ahead and click on it and then buy the course so that you would start immediately to 
understand better what it means to run campaigns in 2022 all right so that brings us to the end of this video and hey if you're watching on youtube do me a little favor by subscribing to my youtube channel you know it's going to help me a whole lot and also just click on the like button and you know like this video so that it can get to more people you can also share it with your friends if you have found it useful so far all right so that brings us the end of the stream and see you in the next hopefully because this is actually a part of the training as well so see you in the next tutorial hopefully if you have signed up to that course all right so bye for now all right